Okay, so what we're going to work on in this video is uh, moving that transfer orbit around so that it follows, um, uh, it, it can go between various uh, positions at dates. So what we have at the moment, if I turn this moon off, off, there we go, that was weird. Toggle button was not working. Turn the ship back on. Um, we've got our transfer path, which is the black one, right? This is actually an elliptical orbit, so we can, uh, you know, consider that it carries on around the other side, um, and we can calculate its period the same way that we would calculate the period of one of these orbits. If we do it by, if we then divide that period by half, we know how long it's going to take to get from here to here. So then what we can do is for any given position on the, the current orbit we can work out where we want to get to on the target orbit based on the date. Hmm. And what I want to be able to do is this should be able to work for any combination of values. So if we just quickly jump back into the code and I change the uh say so the uh the inclination to I don't know ten degrees of the target orbit what we'll probably see it's actually quite difficult to see with this let me just uh move the camera around to get my uh, my orbit camera control in here. So you can see that on different inclinations there. And what should happen is it should calculate this to do the inclination change. Um, so we're still going to create this orbit uh, using the red points here, but that should be, this should be rotated down um, to to basically transfer between the two. So that's going to be um, reasonably complicated. So what I think we should do is start out with carry on with just circular orbits and work out uh, this. So basically we can have it follow the ship around. You can see it placed the ship here. If I pause and then start again should rotate the ship round again because this is uh, it's only ever updating once uh, when it creates because I've not got the running update on but what I want to be able to do is have this follow have the the transfer path follow the orbit around so currently if, if we transfer now it should go out to here so that's what I'm going to do first have this rotate around um, we'll be doing that instead of picking these points I'm using the semi-major axis of the both orbits to calculate whereabouts these points are. I'm going to be using the position at date and working out the transfer time, or rather working out the transfer time and then picking the uh, uh, picking the positions. So yeah, let's. Uh, we're going to go fast forward mode now, and we're going to do that. Cool. Okay.
Okay, <coughs> so here we go. We have our transfer orbit path uh, being updated every frame now. And uh, it's currently calculating on um, uh, circular orbits. So what we can do now is if I go back to, oh, I, I added the camera controller in so I can rotate the camera around to make it a bit easier. Uh, in the orbit nav controller where I'm setting up this, if I put the inclination to something different, it should now follow the inclination around. Hopefully. So, hmm. Still not quite right. Okay, so that still needs to use the direction here. But slowly getting there. So I'm going to go and tweak that a little bit more. If we look from the top, it should just produce the right thing. I'm going to go and tweak that a little bit more and uh, we'll come back in a second. Cool. Okay, so that was a quick tweak. It's interesting um, here on like a transfer between some very inclined orbits you get some slightly odd uh, yeah, that's that's not quite right. But, progress. So, I think I'm going to end this video here. We've now got um, the transfer working from, from circular to circular orbits with low inclination. Uh, it might be that if the inclination is over a certain value, it's a special case. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Rock on.